All right, we're back for Coast to Coast. Welcome season back. Season five, episode two. Season five, each two. What's going on, buddy? Oh, like, subscribe, comment, share. For those of you on the tubes of you, for those of you on TikTok Live, I'm also watching us along with seven more of you. Hi, how you doing? Sup. I'm Brandon. That's Nick. <laughs> Say hi to the peoples, buddy. Hey! hey. It's humid today here, dude. It was like 90% humidity. I don't know what the humidity was here, but it is still hot in my garage. It must be like why it. you have sleevelessness going on. Uh, this is just what I threw on when I got home, and mm -hmm. I'm kind of actually amazed that it's not blending in with the green screen behind me because this shirt is actually green. So, Well, it's the wrong green. That's fine. Kind of I'm like good. weird grayish type. Looks like an off green. Well, I mean, this shirt. You know, before I, I hacked it all the bits and shit, it was like 10 plus years old. So, you know, no big deal. Hey, Ferris. Yes, sir. Fairly off, Alice. Pistachios. Hey, look at Nuts. you. You graduated. I like it. Snack, hey, snack, snack. Maverick cool. says he shared. What's up, Mav? How you doing, brother? Thank you, sir. Let's get right into Sharing it. What in the world is going animal. on? We're recording an episode of the Coast to Coast podcast. Yes, right. That's about it. And we just figured we'd share mm -hmm. the process with people live on Tiki Talkie. That's right. So people watching the show, we're live on TikTok, believe it or not. We are. Oh, look at the green Which... on my phone screen. Ain't letting it. It's pretty funny. That's kind of interesting. That's weird. That, um, that kind of that kind of brings up something, though. Since we're live on TikTok, mm -hmm. uh, we've got to be careful. <laughs> With oh, yeah. what we say and how we present information, buddy. We can't just bleh, diarrhea of the mouth today. I've Man. been banned for the most simplest, didn't even do anything crap. Ferris got banned simply for breathing one time. That was cool. <laughs> much. We could determine what it really was for, but <laughs> I remember that. I'm I've not going to say banned. the word again. I've been banned from like posting videos, but I've never been banned from being live on TikTok. I will say that. Maybe today's well, the day. You goody goody. Oh. No, I'll just I'll just get in there. You're not man. anybody unless you've been banned from TikTok at least once. What are you talking about? Oh, I've been For banned no from reason. posting from posting videos. It's it's literally said, you know, I can view, but I can't comment and I couldn't share. I couldn't post anything. And I appealed it and I won, but you know, whatever. I've never been banned from anything for TikTok. Well, well that's because you're you're so married. I guess goody. I'm no yeah, one. You have to be you're on just it. all Dude. special and nice and a goody goody. See, you're just a wonderful human being, Mary. You're not a piece of garbage like Nick and me. Oh, I, re oh, I screwed I've up, been folks. telling you guys that for like three years, but y'all don't listen. <laughs> Only three? I mean, this is Do better. season five. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Christmas. Oh, so let's get this out of the way. What's everybody's temperature like? Because mine sucks. Hot. Temperature? It's like hot. 70? I'm currently okay, residing. Move along. I'm currently residing right on the rim of Satan's butthole. It sucks. Do you need to borrow a tampon? <laughs> it's a little, it's it's also a little smelly, but yes, tampons come in handy. We talked about those uh, as a part of a survival kit, actually. They are <laughs> very important items. Item. Yep. Who needs <laughs> band-aids? Beans, bullets, yeah. and tampons. Beans, hey, bullets, sure. and tampons. <laughs> That's a new shirt, Nick. Oh <laughs> Beans, bullets, and tampons. Oh, yeah. the better. Fix that bloody nose like you wouldn't believe. Don't buy the don't buy the expensive brand. Get the cheap brand. Right, it's not worth it. Nick, what are you doing, bud? You're over there just having fun by yourself with yourself or something. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, nothing. So, so let Nerd. me ask this: Did y'all get a chance to watch the video with the podcast interview where the the coroner was talking about finding? You know cadavers and stuff, and the cat. You you responded to it, Brandon. I know you listened. You watched it. I know you did. I might have. Well, you said that, that cats are the worst pets. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have. You want to explain it better? You can probably explain it better. Oh. Oh. So hold on. Disclaimer: Ferris. If you are of weak stomach, okay, you might not. I'll make it G-rated. Okay. All right. Good <laughs> Ish. Good kind of. So we're not gonna cook a dog. No, <laughs> just like that, we're gonna get banned on TikTok. Okay, Here comes Peter. So, Here comes the um, vegans. So, 
Ferris, our our wonderful executive producer, Ferris, likes to peruse the old ticky talky atmosphere and send videos to everybody, all of us that are involved. I'm sure he sends them to other friends and family it's members not too. Fun Anyways, at all. It's work. Okay. It's he, work. Oh, please get out of here. You get your rocks off. Right, Ashley. Doing, <laughs> Ashley love that stuff. crap. <laughs> Anywho. Ferris sends this video about a guy who's being interviewed on some podcast. Can't tell you the name of the podcast because I can't remember. And the dude was talking essentially about why uh, uh, the difference between dogs and cats when it comes to owners, right? And basically the general premise was you don't want to have a cat if you pass away in your home <laughs> because the cat's going to eat you. <laughs> They're going to start with your head. They're going to eat your whole they, head. They start, what did he say? He said they like start with the eyeballs, but within 24 hours. 24 hours, yeah. He said within 24 hours, your head is gone and it's just your skull, your bones. That's From crazy. a cat. From one, one cat. He said dogs will hold their loyalty for a few days, right? Yep. Until but then they're going to get hungry. Starts to set in, but when they get hungry, they gonna eat you too. The the weird thing though, and the piece of information that really stuck with me was when he said that uh the studies they've done, and that's that's what I find is weird. Like, okay, you've done studies on this. How those poor people <laughs> uh but apparently Labrador retrievers are the only ones that didn't start a nibbling. They went through every single breed of dog, it's hard to believe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what kind of studies are you doing? Well, I mean, this how are you doing conducting it. these studies? He's been that at that job. I think he's there for like 29 years, so I'm pretty sure he's seen quite a bit and talked to other people in the same profession. And yeah, but dude, how do you get way. how do you get your cadaver and the pets? Like, do people volunteer for this? Because I've never heard of this. No, they just no. They get a call. They get done. a call. They get a 911 call or an 811 if whatever you know wherever you're at in the process and they go out and they do their job and they find that these people have pets. They find the pets in the house. They've been in there a while, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And based on how long they, this mm -hmm. person has been deceased, they can determine how long it took before the buffet started. Or not. That's just weird. That's just God. wrong, dude. It's so wrong on so many levels. Well, that reminds me of they how don't many, have pets. How far back yeah, was still it? Don't know who shot JFK. When the monkey right? ate its owner's face right off. We do. We know. A monkey ate its owner's face off. What? Yeah. Lady had a monkey that lived with her, and it went nuts, and it gnawed her. Her face was mangled. It. Oh, I thought you were going to go down a hole. We didn't need to go. Was down this was this before or after she had passed? No, she was alive. She's still alive. What? Oh Do you know if you have a monkey as a pet, you have to have a separate dwelling for the monkey? I can see why, why would you? We just heard yeah, that a pet monkey face. gnawed some lady's face <laughs> off while she was alive. Why would you have a pet <laughs> monkey? Yeah. Well, it's probably. Well, right. well, you you talking monkey? He's or dead. are we talking bigger monkey? Do we know what Tip kind of monkey? A a oh, oh my okay. god chimpanzee oh my could you imagine I mean, that's, though that's this one poor fifth woman, gorilla this poor woman she's laying there in bed trying to go to sleep thinking about whatever's got she's got to do the next day go to work or whatever <laughs> and then she wakes up because half a face gets ripped off by this freaking crazy bloodthirsty chimp no i doubt that's the way it went down no. Don't you rough house a little bit with your dogs and stuff? No, you know, she like did you not rough house. Go look it up. Well, research. Okay, whatever. So how did how, how did it happen, Nick? How did it happen? She wasn't even sleeping. One the thing just went mad. It just went crazy. Yeah. Oh, it went ape shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a private, more nicer note, I'm in some of the bloodhound groups on Facebook. And this one guy posted something that I never thought of before and actually makes total sense. He said, when I, if, when I pass away, please make sure before I'm gone that you let my dog see my body. Because he didn't want to be buried and the dog thought that he just abandoned him and didn't know what happened to him. That actually makes a lot of sense. 
I like that. I did too. I was like, dude, I never thought of that. Just don't let my dog eat my foot. Which foot? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> don't let my dog eat me at all. Which one can you live without? Okay. Uh, well, Which I mean, direction you I'm want not, the circle to this I'm point. not worried about it at that point in time because I'd be, you know, deceased. But still, I want to remain intact when they throw me in the ground. All right, Brandon. I got something new I'm going to do every episode. Oh, good Lord. I don't Why know. Why are you throwing all this new stuff at me all the time? I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but I'm going to go out for now. Crazy headlines from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you, Florida, with your <laughs> wacky tales. Today's headline. Florida man flees cops so fast that some of his clothes come off. So police identified him from DNA off his sock. What? <laughs> cops That's could only find a pair forward. of jean shorts, a sandal, and a sock at a shooting scene in St. Petersburg, Florida. After the suspects dashed from the scene, however, the socks proved to be a vital piece of evidence. After DNA pulled from it matched Octavius Jesse Henderson, identifying the shooting suspect. Dude ran out of his socks. <laughs> I see okay. your DNA. I see your DNA uh, or, or perp caught by DNA from socks and raise you one Florida man found with drugs after getting trapped in a porta potty. Oh, I see <laughs> now. Oh, that's a crappy <laughs> situation. <laughs> yeah. Florida man found stuck inside a porta potty was arrested on drug charges after Collier County deputies found him screaming for help. His leg was sticking out the bottom of the door. <laughs> Foot was sticking out the bottom <laughs> of the Florida body. <laughs> I wonder if he was wearing socks. That reminds they reported me. The deputy in the bathroom door, they found a powdery substance in a bag. Oh, we know who that belongs to. That is not that man in the Porta Potty's powdery substance. Grandpappy. No. All right. I'll share one more. His, his last well, name rhymes with Hayden. Hang on. Hang on. This, this, this. <laughs> This porta potty story <laughs> reminds me of something. Uh -oh. Have any of y'all ever watched the show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? No. Yes. No, yes. Negative. Okay. No. Danny DeVito is a character. His character's mm -hmm. name is Frank. Okay. And there's an episode where Danny DeVito was talking about how he went on an acid trip at some concert somewhere and he locked himself in a bathroom inside of like an RV or something in the Woodstock, whatever it was, right? Fast forward later on in the episode, Danny DeVito's character in the TV show, TikTok don't ban us, YouTube don't ban us. This is the show. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Go look it up. Um, Gets locked in a bathroom while he's tripping on acid. <laughs> and it's funny because as soon as he realizes it, the little voiceover thing when they're thinking in their head, right? It's like, oh no, not again. Anyways, it was hilarious. Y'all gotta go watch it. It was it was awesome. I'm sorry, mm. I ruined the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I think this this next one might be the girlfriend of the of of previous dude, um, in Porta Potty. Uh -oh. After police chase, Florida woman crosses getting arrested off her bucket list. Deputies say. Oh, there's another one I've seen. Says she Are wanted to be she wanted me? to be arrested since wow. she was in high school. Yes. Why would that be anybody's goal? I don't know. You should, you should you should see the picture of her. She's super happy over herself. This is good for you. Stupid. I have never been even detained, much less arrested. Uh, I won't say handcuffs, but I'm detained every morning about <laughs> six thirty when when, when they call. <laughs> I've been detained. I've been questioned. I've been interviewed. I've been arrested. Um, and I have also questioned people and I have arrested people. <laughs> and I've been on both sides of the spectrum. Both Great. sides of that fence. <laughs> well, I did. I did have a bunch of cops pull me over one time because they thought that uh, my car met the description of a lady that had just stabbed her husband several times. Oh, that's creepy. Jeez. Yeah, there were like that 14 cop cars that pulled up on me. That's creepy. Oh, I need to throw this disclaimer out there so that I'm not breaking the law. Um, hashtag not a cop. Just saying. Oh, boy. My last you know, one. Illegal. Florida man arrested for... No, that's the wrong one. Florida man arrested for calling 911 after his cat was denied entry into a club. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 
Wow. Everett, Everett Legs? Everybody visited, wanted to keep their head. Visited a Florida Everett nightclub Legs. alongside his kitten, but the officials denied access to the facility. Instead of leaving, he called 911, and when cops arrived, he was uncooperative and continued calling 911. He was arrested Aww. for misusing 911. Aw, his pussy hurt. Oh, was, kitty. was the cat an emotional cat. support animal? <laughs> That's the I don't know. Term. He just wanted to hang out with his kitten. Oh, what's up with women and getting arrested? Florida woman speeds through checkpoint, takes selfie during traffic stop. What is going <laughs> y'all on? Do, y'all do some dumb stuff nowadays. Look, if you're Watch from Florida it. and you're in the chat, or if you see this later, interesting you know, things. We need comments. We need information. What is yeah. going on down there? I need to move to Florida. Does anybody have Juju's number? <laughs> <laughs> Ashley wants to move to Florida. <laughs> yeah, Sounds man. interesting. Yeah, I know why. Uh, look, I'll, this I'll next story. Thing. I'll tell you one thing, you move to Florida, you no longer need TV. You just go sit on the (laughs) front porch and watch the show. Ashley, (laughs) if you go to Florida, you need to avoid this man here. Man wearing nothing but cowboy hat. Mm? Mm? Sounds good so far, right? Attacks woman with machete. Oh, (laughs) like the woman had a machete and all he had was a cowboy hat? (laughs) The red flag was just a cowboy hat. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Maybe he didn't want to have, you know... Any blood spatter on his clothing? Maybe police that's why he said, was naked. Police said he asked her for a crack pipe when she said she didn't have it. He chased her <laughs> with the machete. Oh my gosh! Wow. All right, last one. Florida man arrested for crashing car in the mall says he was trying to time travel. Was it a DeLorean? A car crashed into a mall on North Davis Highway in Pensacola, Florida. When cops questioned the unidentified man driving the Dodge Challenger, he said he was trying to time travel when the incident occurred. He only needs to reach 88 miles per hour. (laughs) That's amazing. (laughs) And that was our segment of (laughs) Crazy Headlines in Florida. (laughs) And, And we didn't plan that at all, did we, Nick? No, not at all. Uh, I just sure it it. sure didn't seem like it at all. I did almost forget about it though. There was one more that that what that goes kind of with your last one though, Nick. This one's kind of funny. Florida man drives and and y'all will like this because it has to do with space and stuff. Florida man drives stolen truck to Space Force base to warn of (laughs) battle between aliens and dragons. I mean, that's some information we need to know. Well, I know aliens are real. Legit. Yeah, I'm like dragons have been around for a while, right? Just say, or, yeah, mm-hmm. about the I was going to share the story about the mailman I met the other day, but I don't know if I should do that on TikTok. Why? Probably not on TikTok. No, <laughs> hey, no, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, I, I'm not trying to poke fun at aliens or anything like that. Nick and I have had many a conversation about aliens. Um, mm-hmm. the, the dragons thing that's funny. The fact that he, yeah. went to the not for Space kimono. Force. That's funny. That's cute. Hey, y'all. I'm Brandon. That's Nick, the Coast to Coast Podcast. This is season five, and we're excited. We had fun with a little segment last year. Last season, I should say. Yep. Felt like a year. Let's get Boko. We are bringing back Let's Get Vocal for Season 5, and and I'm going to let Nick give you all the dirty details of how you can get involved. Dude, wherever this is posted, it's going to be going into the comments and just say, Let's Get Vocal, and we will message you, and we will get you scheduled. So, go ahead, drop us a line. We'll reach out to you, see if we can't get you on the show. Let's Get Vocal. Vocal! Welcome back. We're back on. We didn't okay. leave, but welcome back. Nick's stuff in his face like normal. We have nothing prepared after what we just went through. So, you know, hey, yeah. here we go. <laughs> welcome to the show. So the first half of the show, we uh, we got to see how people make poor decisions in answering their own questions of life, right? Yeah. How sure. about how about we uh how about y'all try your hand and and answer your questions on your own and see if you can't, you know, figure out the meaning of life through these questions. The oh boy, this boy, should be interesting. With a little bit of game of would you rather? 
Oh, Ooh, I love that. <laughs> so what yeah. I did was I've got this separated in three different rounds or tiers, starting with the most um, <laughs> watered down <laughs> questions, if you will, and then ending up in some would consider gut wrenching decisions. Interesting. Okay, yeah. I do have one question. Gut wrenching, like when we <laughs> ask <laughs> Sammy Joe, would you rather <laughs> drink out of a kid's sippy cup or don't ruin it, Mary? A gallon of mag citrate. Don't 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 ruin it. Fair ass. Sorry. You get in my round two and three. Yes. Fair my, my I have a question. Are you gonna say it like Mike Tyson the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is, is that your message? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, how come Nick's here? I thought I was supposed to be recording with Ashley this week. Oop. Well, <laughs> I'm just well. He got Let's rehired. Would you rather? Unfortunately, we have bylaws and union laws, and he had to come back. <laughs> yeah, but he will great. be gone by the end of October because he wants Sounds to stay here for the Halloween episode. It's his favorite. I'm. 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 Uh, big I refuse. I refuse to show up in any kind of costume again as the only one. Oh Not no! Gonna happen. You don't have to do a thing. No, I'm going to be costume though. Yep. Enjoy it. Whatever. I have plans. <laughs> He has a plan. No, yeah, you plan. had plans when we when we did it a few uh, <laughs> seasons ago, and I was the only schmuck that showed up. You get dressed up. I'll get dressed up. You get... be raggedy, and I'll be Ann. No, I'm not. Do- I'm not oh, falling for cute. any of that garbage. <laughs> he stole that from me, Ashley. You'll be cause... lucky if I show up at all. I made a what? homemade raggedy nah. costume, even the wig. That's amazing. Our Halloween yeah, episode it. is going to be live on TikTok. Uh, that's fine. Are we doing this would you rather thing? I'm, I'm waiting. Y'all ready to go? I'm yeah. excited. Okay. We're going to start with that's round one. Round one, we got the ladies answer all first, and then y'all can answer too. How's that? Oh, okay. so we have to wait. Okay. Yeah, that way, because they're a lot, <laughs> let's be honest, wait they're smarter the than woman. us fellows, okay? They're going to be a lot. Are the, are the ladies going to come on camera to answer, or are they going to stay ghostly? No. no they're, they're, we're we're going to stay blacked out, you know. Fine. Hey, okay. no attention to the voice behind the curtain. Yeah, right. <laughs> Any of them. All right. <laughs> first one. These, like I said, these are very watered down. So some of them may seem a little elementary. So if you want to laugh at it, that's fine. But I'm just these things that can help us kind of learn about each other too, right? And okay. if you're out there listening or, or watching on TikTok Live, think about it. Answer in the comments. You know. Yeah, answer in the comments. What you, you would rather? Or five of you, because three of you are us. Anyway, <laughs> would you rather give up social media or eat the same dinner for the rest of your life? Social media, easy. I agree. That's all social media. That's anything kind of any kind of connection that you would have with other people through an app Goodbye. or a website. So you're you're to to just be clear. Give up all forms of social media forever. Yep. Or yep. eat the same meal every meal for the rest of your same life. Same right? dinner for the rest of your life. Let's say it's meat. Oh, just dinner. So it's not affecting yeah, breakfast just or lunch dinner. or snacks or anything. Oh, yeah. And then I'll choose that. Hey, oh. the same dinner. No, you can't. You just, you I just changed gave it. an answer. Branded. They're supposed it's to answer not for my her. fault. You didn't seek the proper no. clarification. <laughs> okay. Brandon You're always stuck. finds a loophole. You're Brandon, stuck. Brandon is Mr. Loopy Hooper. You, you be stuck, girl. Okay. Do you want to fight? Uh, you want to fight about it? It's uh-huh. not the money maker, okay? It's not the money maker. <laughs> Poor microphone, all up in that mess. What do you think, Nick? Um, I would love to get rid of all the social media. Fuck all, of them. yeah, I'm out of here. Hmm. Interesting. He can't. Uh, do I'm the. I'm the. I'm the, I'm the only guy that's gonna have my favorite dinner every dinner for the rest of my life apparently i think i could do the same dinner every every yeah i could do it if i'm if i'm i could do the same dinner too if 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 i'm getting my my top choice dinner every dinner every day for the rest of my life i'm happy right all right would you rather never be rejected ever again or never fail again ever never be rejected or never fail again Never fail. The ladies are supposed to answer first, Nick. They are. Oh, on this one too. You just oh. failed, Nick. Great. <laughs> Mix the ladies. 
<laughs> you can't answer that. That's way. awesome. The other way. I well, think we should just take turns. Let the guys go ahead and answer this one first. I, I've got my answer. Go for it. You want me to go? I would go with the rejection thing. Here's why. Um, when we fail is how we learn, and we have a hard time learning if we don't first fail. Also, if I'm never going to get rejected, then I'm just the very first thing I'm going to do is go to my boss and be like, hey, I need a $10,000 a year raise. <laughs> Mm. hashtag approved <laughs> fantastic <laughs> that's like that movie yes man was it yes man everybody always said yes to him yeah yeah or he said yes to everybody yeah, yeah. he said it yeah yeah, yeah. well right. my thinking is if i constantly get rejected but i never fail well every time i get rejected for something i end up winning and then the people who rejected <laughs> me are complete morons and they feel like <laughs> i knew that was coming i knew yeah. that was coming you jack wagon morons ladies i don't like this question why i just don't i did also say i'm like happily married so i'm not like trying to get with anybody or anything right like so i don't care about rejection what in the hell i think rejection could be anything it could be it could be social rejection or it could be job reject exactly that's know, why i'm like anything. i'll go with that one mm -hmm. i, mean, I, I, I like brandon's logic I'm like, i reject, think the rejection reject thing this. bothers me more yeah that i think i think if i had to answer and then i would say i'd rather fail and not be rejected well here's the thing about failure nobody nobody really truly enjoys failure right like when you're in the moment and you suck at what it is that you're doing and you just bomb what i enjoy about failure is being able to to rework the problem in my head to try to find a different angle to get the desired outcome and then once that actually works and you're successful with it it's eye-opening it's like holy crap that was easy yeah but the problem right? is if you always Forces fail you that think means outside you the box always fail you never figure it out but that's the thing you're you're approaching it when when ferris says would you rather never be rejected or never fail, right? You're Didn't assuming, they always fail? Yep. You're assuming that that means that if you don't choose the never fail, it means you're always going to fail and never succeed. But I, that's false. That's false. You could still fail a thousand times and then be successful on your thousand and first try. Well, speaking of fail, the next one is, would you rather be the president of the United States for a day or a... <laughs> Billionaire for a day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ladies have to go first this time. Go. I know what I'm saying. President Day or a billionaire. Ashley didn't even get to answer last time, so Ashley needs. I to thought go she first. did. I'm sorry, nope. Ashley. Oh, I Ashley, was chasing yeah. my cat around the house, so there's that. Don't, Don't lay die. down and die. Don't <laughs> oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Your cat you is okay? going to eat your eyeballs, Good. Ashley. We're going to do a, a welfare check with her later in about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. you live what do you think, Ashley? So, president for a day or a billionaire for a day? President. You'd be president for a day? Oh, Hell she's yeah. power hungry. Interesting. I'm going billionaire because I can spend a lot of that money in one day. <laughs> Question I can't is, do much as president in one day. And Mary. I hate going, shopping. That's the one thing. I hate shopping. So I don't know. You're if a, I billionaire want to be a billionaire for one day. When that day is over, whatever you do with that money, does it go away or do you yes. keep it says for a day? Like you get you get the treatment of a billionaire, basically. You have you the money. You get to keep the things that you buy. Yeah. I mean, why not? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna so if I stuff change to charity, stuff. I'm going to help my friends. I'm going to pay off my mortgage. I'm going to take care of my mom. I'm yeah, I'm help I'm people going out. I'm going to get a couple of things, and that million dollars is going to be gone by the time my day's over. Or donate five hundred million to the next president. <laughs> no, depends on who that's the next me. president is. <laughs> that's, like that's the easiest way to waste money, right there. Donate it. Uh, well, Ashley, if it was Ashley, Ash Ashley. Ashley, why yes. would you be president for a day? How come? So if I change something, does it stick? Until somebody hashtag no. <laughs> Damn. Well, I, I would, okay, I'd use this logic. If, you, if you're able to spend the billion at least dollars that you have 
in a day and keep whatever you spend it on, then I would say yes, whatever you change probably sticks. If we're going that route. Yeah. I'd undo some of the stupid stuff that our president has done now. Oh. Oh the, dear, the, that would take people, longer than a day. Oh, the rich I would change as much as I could in 24 hours. I mean, everybody change, here agrees with you. We just got to be careful how we present the information. Change right? the stuff <laughs> that the rich people north of Richmond have done. Is that what you're saying, Ashley? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Not in this town. So, All right. Would you rather? So, oh, the guy's got to answer. Can I? Can yeah, I answer? Can Nick answer? Yeah. Go ahead. We all know what Nick's going to say. He's going to be a billionaire. A billionaire. Yeah, a billionaire. <laughs> okay. Now that I know that some things that I'd put in place would be sticking first. You done screwed up, son. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all don't want me for president as for, for as president for a day. Let me just well, tell you that right now. I'm going with the billion dollars. Right, meow? <laughs> I'm gonna go with the billion. This world could not handle me as See, president for you a and day. Ashley could run on the same ticket. You got the money, yeah. she's got the seat. I got no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no desire. No desire. I'm <laughs> buying some tropical Mary, give me a word. I'm gonna Island? say it. Please not Maui. Paradise. I'm gonna the paradise, thank you. Perfect. I'm gonna find somewhere that's FC9. just absolute paradise. And provides me with all of the sustenance that I need for the remainder of my existence. And then I'm just going to disappear. I like that idea, disappearing. Yeah. I'm going to disappear. And I will be, I'll be the lurker, right? Like, I'll watch, but I'm going to, I'm going to do me for the rest of my life. You make me a billionaire for a day, they, boom, retired. You you could have given up the social media thing then if you're going to just disappear. No, I'm and a lurker. And then you can eat whatever you want to eat. I'm a lurker. Weirdo. I'm lurking. I never said I was giving up all that stuff. I'm saying <laughs> make me a billionaire for a day. I will not have to work for the rest of my life. My wife will not have to. My family will not have to. Mom, dad, grandma, all them. Right? I'm a, I'm what about us? If you get a billion dollars, you better give us day, some money. And one day I'm going to do some serious Donate stuff. Mary, personal. I'll fix your floor for you. That's about it. <laughs> I think I'm going to choose president because I I, I want to. I just want to ride around a Marine One all day. You would. Like, Heck seriously. Yeah. You that would. would. Be awesome. Not Air Force you One. That's too fast. Wagon. I can't see stuff. I want to have I want to have clear skies. Stuff. I want to have open skies where everybody moves out of the way. I don't care what altitude I am because I'm in Marine freaking one, and I want to just sightsee. I want to see everything. So you're oh, going to waste your you're going to waste your presidential day. I want to open the side door nothing. over the Grand Canyon and take a dump. I want to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, so kind of like what the curtain. Never mind. Yeah. No, anyway. Next right. question. Would you rather be one of the best in the world at one thing or be good at everything? I'm already the best in the world at one thing. Same. This is not reality. This is this is this is not reality. Okay. I want to just be good at everything. Go best for it, Brandon. World at one thing. Good as good or enough. good. It could be anything. Everything. It doesn't specify anything at all in your mind. You know what I mean? That one thing could be anything. Um, and and that's the thing. If if it's gonna be one or the other, I will be the best in the world at one thing. However, that one thing better be the most damn important thing on the planet. <laughs> that's about the only way I'm gonna scratch a living out of it. Okay, I have no clue what it is. <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but it's gonna make me a. It's gonna make me that billionaire. I'll tell you that much right now. I want to be the best. I want to be the best at making babies. No, I'm okay. I have enough babies. Thank you. Then you have to be the billionaire. Um, Ladies, you didn't answer, Ferris. I don't have an answer yet. I'm cheating. Ferris wants to. You're saving for the very last. I think no. I, okay, I think I. I think I'd rather be good at. One thing. I think I'd rather be good at one thing. Yeah, because if you're good at everything, you're not going to beat the best at that one thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to be one thing because I, I'm I'm okay with that. I don't have to be good at everything. 
Yeah, that's my answer. What is it you want to be the best at? Growing? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. But that doesn't make that doesn't even make sense. It's funny <laughs> as hell, but that even makes sense. It's <laughs> funny as hell, but it don't make It's sense. only funny if people know about And Ferris that's the short term. Seriously, that's Ferris, the what's the one thing you would want to be amazing at? Advice. That's Giving advice. Oh, I'm already good at that. <laughs> it's not your time. But are you the best, Mary? Toot, toot. <laughs> she said she's good at it. She didn't say she was the best. Hmm. Ladies, yeah. what about you? What would you do? Call me the Dama Lama. <laughs> Ashley, go for it. The Dama Lama. I'm thinking. I'd say just get at everything. Paris Welcome, Raven. Shout Paris out, Raven. The dummy mummy. Raven! Raven, Raven on the ticky talkie. What's up? What's what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? So I'm going to say I would want to be the best at one thing. What's that? Making I sure that I get to heaven. Gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Actually, that's a good idea. I could change mine. I want to be good at just the most amazing at one thing. You being trained it. Being Jesus like. It. No. You say being Jesus like? Yeah. You no. already got the look, kind of. <laughs> Still waiting for you try to walk on water. His skin color is not quite, you know. Okay, time out real quick. I just had an epiphany. Got I, think Nick, I think Nick needs to dress up for every themed episode we have. Like Halloween, obviously, right? Easter, Horse the Amanda. robe, the beard, everything. Christmas, Santa Claus. I mean, he fits the part in every way, which way. Think about it. I can do that. And then when he gets around. Yeah, but he know, won't. He won't even dress <laughs> up for the very first ever holiday. That was not on purpose. It was an Don't worry, Nick. Gaming. When he gets around to St. Patrick's Day, I got you, buddy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> if Nick if dresses it, up as Santa, so Paris, will you be his elf? Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> now I gotta start, now I gotta talk in this voice here, just so make sure people don't think I'm like this. Oh, tiny. now you sound okay. like six five. <laughs> Everybody answer that one. Wow! Yep. Get yeah. Okay. Last one in round one. So these are the weak ones. These are the watered down ones. Okay. Or these the, are the, or the, or the baby, weak of the weeks. The baby versions. Way. Would you rather have to speak in rhyme for the rest of your life oh, God. or to speak in riddles for the rest of your life? Those are both terrible. <laughs> riddles Neither would be of them are a good choice. What's your, what's your answer there, Raven, in the chat? Rhymes or riddles for the rest of your life? Yeah, what which one? Speak? We'll give her a chance to maybe respond. I bet I know what she's going to say. I think when I teach my my class at work, I to them I'm speaking in riddles anyways. Neither. So I'll go with that. <laughs> she said neither. Uh uh-uh. uh. I like my that. That's cheating. Yeah, she's a cheater. You're a cheater. Yeah, I'm gonna she's go with the uh, riddles. Nick, I see you tapping the the crap out of the screen there on the ticky talkie. Oh. Pump, pump the <laughs> jam. Pump it up. What's pump your answer, up. Nick? Pump it up. Either would be awesome. That's what most people look like when they're alive. Brandon, right there. Look. Like, 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 like. Okay. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Tap that like button, y'all. Like it, like it, like what, it. Look, hold on. What do we come to as an American society where we're sitting on our phone watching TikTok lives and just tapping the heck out of it? <laughs> oh, good Lord. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who hadn't answered that one? Anybody? Anybody? You and me and Ashley. Yeah, you and the, I would, the rest I, y'all, of the ladies. I think y'all know which one I'd rather pick. See how well y'all know me. What do y'all think? What's my answer? I promise I won't change it. I have it in my head. Oh, uh-huh, sure. I promise I won't change it. I think you're going to pick rhyme. I'll go with the opposite. But, of whatever the dad joke just to be side of you kind of makes me think maybe riddle, but Ferris would do riddle. the writer part of you makes me think rhyme. Yeah, okay, but man. not everything as far as a writer is concerned has to rhyme. I'm gonna stick with riddles too. What do you think, Ash? Riddles. Mary, you let me down. I thought we knew each other better. I really did. 
All Maybe right, you it. just don't know yourself as well as I. No, know. I would definitely choose. Yeah, because... yeah. Let Mary tell you something about you that you yeah. don't know. Ferris. Tell me, <laughs> tell me, uh, tell me. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That was kind of fun. I say for this next round, we we assign the answers to people. No, I'm just kidding. Let's not do that. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> idea. Hey, I can go. I can go around the screen, and each one gets a question, and then you can everybody else make fun of that person. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> And you have to answer no loopholes. Just answer real quick. Oh, come that? on. Speed round. Man. Speed round. Round two, speed no round. Round three. What I mean. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Are we ready? Who wants the no. first? We'll start. I'm going to go clockwise, but who wants the first one? Any volunteers? I'll take it. Why not? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Oh, Nick, you can have it. No, buddy. no. Now, you, yeah. I'll go, go second. Yeah. Good Lord. I don't know. Brandon, you're first. So Nick, you're last. Brandon's first. Nick's last. We'll go around mm -hmm. based on my screen. I don't know how y'all's looks, but I'm going on my screen. So it's it's Brandon, Ashley, myself, Barry, and Nick. All right, here we go. First one. Would you rather have shark gills or a giraffe's neck? Shark gills. <laughs> Ashley? Agreed. Yeah, I Same. agree. Mary? Yep. I thought That's these were answer. supposed to be harder, Ferris. <laughs> That's not an answer. Harder. I'm out of here. <laughs> Nick, gills or neck? Gills. You know, he got no neck. Nick ain't got no neck. <laughs> He's just got, he got a beard. Gills. <laughs> Nick just goes chest, beard, nose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know that head, head, shoulders, knees, and toes song. <laughs> head, shoulders, beard, and nose. <laughs> the chest God. bones connected to the forehead. Oh. Skip the lot. What do you say? What was your answer, Nick? Gills, man. Gills, gills. Everybody's right. going gills. Ain't nobody want to have. Everybody loves the bent gills. Okay. What the hell are you gonna do with the long neck? Well, fair is my. Raven said long Never neck. Mind. Raven wants long neck. I'm taking that as an answer, Raven. Sorry. That's oh, I see the giraffe emojis. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, that would be a. A great peeping Tom advantage. You know what I mean? Fair as you know. Okay. Just read the yeah, next you right can't have you <laughs> Man. All right. Uh, I mean, for a short person, come on. I can't dream. You, you no. sick. <laughs> you sick. All right. Ashley, you're up first. Next. Would you rather eat a talking cow or a talking chicken? What? Chicken. <laughs> eat it, you said? I want to talk in cow, cow so I can just say, what's your beef, dude? <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Mary? I can't eat red meat, so I'm going to have to go chicken. Nick? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. That would be awesome either way. <laughs> <laughs> right. If I'm getting a chicken, I'm going to let him know. Your finger licking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see what he says. <laughs> if I'm getting a cow, I don't know what I'm going to say to that thing. But Well, you, you know. can always ask the chicken. So which was it? You or the egg? <laughs> yeah. Why did you cross the road? <laughs> <laughs> because to get to the cow. <laughs> Start telling real bad jokes to the cow. What do you call a cow with no legs? <laughs> Ground beef. See what he says. <laughs> All right, moving on. All no. right, I, I'm on this. I, I'm the first one. On this. Would you rather know the future, your future, or be able to change the past? Change the past. No brainer. I'd rather yeah. change the past. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go yet. Sorry. Yeah, Mary. <laughs> uh, I'd rather know the future. I have a habit of like answering very fast. <laughs> You should be good in lightning rounds. You're I'm just waiting for right? Ferris to tell us who's next, me or Ashley. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You. Brandon, you're next. Me? Yes. Now now that, you know, we got the, the lightning round thing out of the way and, <laughs> you know, no clarifying questions for the person who goes first. I wasn't first. So, Ferris, what about the future? Can I know everything? Or just like one specific It's still the lightning round. Me? You have to just answer, son. No loopholes. Just round two. answer. I can't. Well, you have to. I can't. Future or past? Know the future um, or change the past? I'm then I'm I'm stuck. I have to say future because everything that happened in my past led me to where I am today, and I'm pretty damn happy with exactly. where I am today. So. Exactly. Okay. I say future too. Just saying. 
All right. Mary, you're first on this one. Would you rather? Uh, oh, my God. This is not planned, I uh -oh. promise. Immediate response, would, Mary. Would you rather sweat all the time or pee every two minutes? <laughs> I pee every two minutes all, all the time anyway, and I sweat. <laughs> so it, either one, I don't care. That Nick, reminds me of the one we did, and I said I wanted to sweat maple syrup. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, you're disgusting. What's your answer on this one? Uh, sweat all the time or pee every two minutes. Oh, I mean, guys have it a little easier with the two minutes thing. Just saying. Yeah, but I'd if it's still, every I'd two minutes, it it, it's gonna in interfere with. The Mountain Dew bottles are perfect. Oh God, gross! You what don't need any longer than two minutes in the bedroom. We all know it. Boo shit. <laughs> I'd rather I sweat all the time anyways all those water weight and humidity so I might as well just stay like that alright Brandon I mean two minutes in heaven is better than no minutes in heaven but yeah I'd rather go with sweating all the time I don't want to wake up every two minutes while I'm trying to sleep because I gotta pee and I sure as hell ain't wearing a diaper to bed that would be cute no, it wouldn't. <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> trust me. If you're peeing every two minutes, that diaper would be changed. bad enough me. as it is. I peel this off, boom, pregnant werewolf. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> pregnant <laughs> werewolf in a diaper? No. <laughs> that sounds like a 1985 horror movie, man. Oh, <laughs> I visualized werewolf. it. I know, man. This fake, fake God. prosthetic sticking off all over him, everything. <laughs> Wow. Wig you bought from the, the Halloween store. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Ashley, what was your answer? Sweat. Sweat. Buy all them tampons, too. Awesome. <laughs> all right, right, Nick. Last one of this round. And again, I did not plan this because I didn't know how we were going to be arranged on the freaking <laughs> screen. But this one's perfect for you. But would you rather... And Brandon, I'm going to need you to withhold your response when I read this. Oh, come as on. As tough as you can. <laughs> Would you rather use sandpaper or a giant slug as toilet paper? Hmm. Quick, quick, quick. Hmm. <laughs> That's a tough one. I guess the slug would kind of feel like my salad was getting tossed. <laughs> it's moist. <laughs> I mean, it could be similar to a wet wipe, I guess. <laughs> Slimy. Whoops, it went Ew. in. Shit. Not satisfying. Oh, you gerbil loving weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, answer. Sandpaper. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, hey. No disclaimer. Hey. Ashley. Hey. <laughs> no disclaimer. You did not this, specify this how rough it has round. to be. I get that fine shit for my shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sandpaper here. Yeah, same paper here, too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ain't no slug going near my tush. Oop. <laughs> oh, do I have to answer this? Yes. Three, two, I one, think go. I should be disqualified because <laughs> nope. I have answer. Crohn's. Just quickly. Three, two, one, go. Nobody has to know that. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Sand 20 paper. grit sandpaper. <laughs> yeah, because I'm flipping. Next, the only over. sicko going with a slug. You freak of nature. He will make no noise when he walks forever. <laughs> no, it'll be right. squeak, squeak, squeak. He's just, well, and he's already sweating, so it's not like the slime left wait, wait. behind is going to bother him Do you walk that fast? All. I'm sorry, Nick. That was probably too quick. Is it like glow-in-the-dark slime? <laughs> it's a mm. slug. That's gross. It's mm. an actual slug. Can you imagine picking up a... Slug the no. size of your palm. No. Actually, I could have put a twist in Crack there. Slapping you just it said in there. Slug. You, it could have been a <laughs> shotgun shell. It's lost. It, will, it won't ever get stuck. He said no loopholes. It don't matter whether it's the actual slug or that shot. It, it's going to go up your poop chute. We all know it. <laughs> it's like that one ply toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So th this next round oh is God. this next round. We're going to do it like this. Everybody's going to answer <laughs> as, as quickly as you can. It's okay, going to be total mayhem. Like, everybody just, like, shout it out all at the same yeah, time. As soon as you know, you can, if, you need, if you need to take your time, <laughs> if you need to take your time, 
that's fine. But if you got By your way, answer, don't ask any questions. Uh, just Paris, answer it. Yes. The one thing I am bougie about is toilet paper. I figured that. Bougie. <sighs> She's got that 52 ply. <laughs> <laughs> I see nothing wrong with that. I'd use it. I like a good soft square on my tuckus. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. All right, here we go. First one. Would you rather drink milk from a goat's udder or let a spider crawl around in your mouth for a minute? Goat's milk. udder. Oh, God. <laughs> milk. I'll suck milk. that teat all day long. Milk. For a spider <laughs> right. Udder. No problem. All right, number two. <laughs> Would you rather all the, your all your hair turned green and smell like barf <laughs> or a mad scientist glued a third arm to your back? Third arm. Third, third arm. arm. Yeah. But on my arm. back, especially, so I'm always itchy back there. <laughs> exactly. Dude. I can give that myself would come a massage. So useful. You know yeah. how much shit I got to do around this house by myself with no help? I could use a third freaking arm. I could pick my ass and nobody would even know. <laughs> you could wipe your ass with a slug. <laughs> you know, holding me like a rocking. slug in the pouch. Uh, all right. <laughs> would you rather have thick veins all over your body or a giant brain that made your head look like a beach ball? Veins. 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 I've Veins. seen a guy Veins. with, oh my God. Oh, I can't. I, mean, <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> wait to get in such good shape that I'm all vascular. Would you rather <laughs> always wear a sweaty shirt or sweaty socks? Sweaty socks. Sock. Socks. Mary? Neither. How come you're not answering? I did. I said socks. <laughs> he's, a, he's asking the questions. He's exempt. I don't wear socks. Well, well then sure it is. Would you rather have to eat <laughs> rotten fruit for breakfast every morning or drink expired milk? Expired milk. Yeah, I'm going with Ashley. Mm. Now this you're one, just not this playing fair tough. when you're talking about <laughs> food and beverage, Ferris. It could be expired by one day, Mr. Loophole, Brandon. No, yeah, no, no. Yeah, rotten fruit no. is rotten fruit. I mean, that's, that's true. That's nasty. No. That is real nasty. I'm the guy that three days before its expiration, I sniff it, and then I tell my wife, hey, this milk's already turned. Before it's even Yeah, expired? that's because you don't buy fair life milk. I, I'm also Hashtag the one not that'll... a sponsor. <laughs> Just put chocolate what? syrup in it and you'll be fine. Chunk <laughs> <laughs> <Junk> hair. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> would God. You, no. Would you rather... <laughs> Last one. I, I don't, uh, don't want to do either. Good Lord. Give me some... Oh. I have to eat the fruit every single day or drink the milk once. I'm going with milk once. It just says drink expired milk. Yeah, just once. That's what I want. All right, last one. Would you rather have one tiny arm or one tiny foot? I made this one easy. What the? Give me a tiny foot. A tiny oh, arm. Tiny foot. I want the, the tiny arm. I I'm a T Rex. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I want the tiny I arm I don't because a, I don't need a strong yes. hand, but I really I want, want a strong foot now. I want the tiny arm because I don't want to walk in a circle for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'll get out of here. <laughs> and that's it for Would You Rather edition. Yay. So wow. I'm proud of y'all. And with that, we thank y'all for being here and putting up with us for as long as you did. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Join us live on TikTok along with these other six fools who were hopefully entertained again four out of the six five out of the six were actually us no big deal um and just so you know next week's episode will we have a let's get vocal guest guest are we going to be live on tiktok next week with our guest as well yes awesome to be determined tune in ticky talkie okay apparently to be determined so yes. oh and also <laughs> nick you want to tell them about the store yeah, the store. Go to the store. <laughs> go it's to our in right. infestation down below. Has been taken Go down care there of. into our line and our our link tree, and there's a store with merch, and there's all kinds of things in there. Go have fun. Well, Buy a drop kick Karen shirt. Do it. <laughs> Terrence advised us last week that the rat infestation is over, so the things are safe again. I got some to kick. Anyway, anywho, thanks for being here, y'all. Later, guys. See you next time. Be nice. Play nice. Be good. Peace.